Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. On February 23, 2024, NVIDIA submitted a document to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission this week for the first time, listing Huawei as one of its major competitors in several areas, including artificial intelligence chips. This marks Huawei's rise in fields like AI chips, making it one of the international competitors. NVIDIA pointed out that Huawei's Ascend series chips directly compete with its products. This move not only highlights the huge potential of the Chinese AI chip market but also demonstrates the rapid development of domestic chip industries. Although domestic chips may temporarily lag behind in performance, continuous research and government support will narrow the technological gap and drive independent development in the chip field in China. Are all these statements true? All right, today's video mainly discusses three questions. 1. What is the logic behind Nvidia listing Huawei as a competitor? Does this mean that Huawei's competitiveness in the field of AI chips has reached international standards? 2. In what aspects does the potential of the Chinese AI chip market manifest itself? Can domestic chips compete with top international products in the future? And what are the key factors? 3. What role do government support policies play in the development of China's domestic chip industry? Are these policies sufficient to drive the advancement of the Chinese chip industry? First, let's look at the logic behind NVIDIA listing Huawei as a competitor and whether this implies that Huawei's competitiveness in the field of AI chips has reached international standards. In the document submitted to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, NVIDIA for the first time identified Huawei as the largest competitor in multiple major categories, including artificial intelligence chips. In most people's impression, NVIDIA started with GPUs, while Huawei excelled in communications, with minimal overlap between the two. However, in the era of artificial intelligence, the two are quietly competing. NVIDIA considers Huawei a major competitor for two main reasons. First, the global market landscape for AI-driven advanced process chips is changing. According to reports, NVIDIA pointed out in its report that Huawei competes with it in four out of its five major business areas. Huawei can compete with NVIDIA in supplying GPUs, CPUs, and other chips used for AI. In addition, NVIDIA sees Huawei as a cloud service company that can independently design hardware and software to optimize artificial intelligence computing. NVIDIA stated, Some of our competitors may have more marketing, financial, distribution, and manufacturing resources than we do, and may be more able to adapt to customer or technological changes. Affected by a series of AI chip export restriction measures imposed by the United States, NVIDIA cannot export advanced chips to China, making Huawei's products an excellent alternative. Analysts point out that Huawei's Ascend series AI chips, especially the Ascend 910B launched last year, are considered substitutes for NVIDIA's A100 chips in the Chinese market three years ago. Previously, Baidu, Tencent, Alibaba, and other companies were long-term important customers of NVIDIA. However, with the United States increasingly tightening its export control measures against China, Chinese companies have begun to reduce their reliance on American technology. Last year, Baidu ordered a large number of Huawei 910B chips. Analysts estimate that the market value of China's AI chip market is about 7 billion US dollars. According to the South China Morning Post, NVIDIA's chief financial officer Colette Kress said, except for China, all other regions, markets, have strong growth. After the U.S. government implemented export control regulations, our revenue in China's data centers dropped significantly. In fact, as early as December last year, NVIDIA CEO Huang Rinxuan listed Huawei as a very difficult opponent in the AI chip competition. Huang Rinxuan said in an interview with reporters in Singapore on December 6, 2023, that Huawei, Intel, and an increasing number of semiconductor startups are posing a serious threat to NVIDIA in the AI accelerator market. He pointed out that in the past, 
China contributed about 20% of NVIDIA's revenue, and the company will continue to perfectly comply with trade regulations. He believes that China will eventually find a way to obtain NVIDIA's most advanced technology or inspire domestic chip manufacturers. However, Wang Rinxuan also specifically emphasized that even so, NVIDIA still leads Huawei by about 10 years. What are the aspects in which the potential of the Chinese AI chip market is manifested? Can domestic chips compete with top international products in the future? And what are the key factors? What role do government support policies play in the development of China's domestic chip industry? Are these policies sufficient to drive the advancement of the Chinese chip industry? In the past two years, investment in China's artificial intelligence field has seen rapid growth, especially in AI foundational areas such as AI chips and data platforms. As of 2022, investment activities in China's AI chip sector have shown a significant upward trend, with a total of 93 investment cases and a combined value of 21.515 billion yuan. Impressively, in just the first five months of 2022, the number of registered AI chip companies in China reached 6,783, surpassing the total number of new registrations in 2020. In recent years, the registration of AI chip companies in China has grown rapidly. From 1,110 in 2017 to 13,492 in 2021, with an average annual compound growth rate of 86.7%. In 2023, the top five companies in China's AI chip industry market share ranking were Huawei High Silicon, Cambricon, Baidu, Institute of Computing Technology, ICT, and Horizon Robotics. Among them, Huawei High Silicon ranked first with a market share of 24.8%, followed closely by Cambricon at 14.3%. Baidu, ICT, and Horizon Robotics ranked third to fifth with market shares of 13.5%, 12.8%, and 10.6%, respectively. In recent years, the Chinese government has attached great importance to the development of the artificial intelligence chip industry and has formulated a series of supportive policies to create a favorable policy environment for the industry and promote its rapid development. Key cities have successively issued policies to support the rapid development of the artificial intelligence industry, including focusing on AI chip innovation breakthroughs, strengthening AI chip and intelligent sensor research and development, and accelerating the construction of intelligent computing, among others. In addition, the country has also introduced a number of policies to encourage the development and innovation of the AI chip industry, including the National New Generation of Artificial Intelligence Development Plan and the notice on deepening the double creation promotion of mass entrepreneurship and innovation. The challenges facing the AI chip industry include increasing technological complexity, high research and development and manufacturing costs, and fierce competition in the global market. In addition, the expansion of AI applications requires improvements in chip performance while balancing power consumption and heat dissipation. Intellectual property rights and security issues remain important considerations, and the vulnerability of the global supply chain has also raised concerns. Challenges in standardization and compliance need to be overcome to promote the healthy development of the industry, while sustainability and environmental issues are gradually receiving widespread attention. These issues together shape the complex environment of the AI chip industry, requiring comprehensive solutions and innovation to drive its development. The prospects for the development of the AI chip industry are predicted to be optimistic as the demand for AI applications continues to grow. In the future, AI chips will play a key role in areas such as autonomous driving, medical diagnosis, intelligent Internet of Things, and cloud computing, bringing higher performance and energy efficiency. Competition between large technology companies and startups will drive technological innovation and cost reduction. In addition, government support and investment will also promote industry research and standardization, ensuring that AI chips have market competitiveness globally.
The AI chip industry is expected to continue to thrive, providing solid support for the future intelligent world. Finally, let me summarize for readers, hoping that you have gained some insights and thoughts. To sum up, the logic behind NVIDIA listing Huawei as a competitor may stem from Huawei's rapid development in the field of AI chips and the competitiveness of its products in the market. Although Huawei's Ascend series chips may currently lag behind in performance, its growing market share and technological strength make it an international competitor. This indicates that Huawei has already possessed a certain level of strength in the field of AI chips and is considered an important player among competitors. In addition, the potential of the Chinese AI chip market is mainly manifested in the growth of market size and the investment of domestic companies in the field of artificial intelligence. With the strong support and investment from the Chinese government in technological innovation, the research and development capabilities and market competitiveness of domestic chips will continue to improve. Key factors include investment in technology research and development, talent cultivation, market demand, etc. Finally, government support policies play a crucial role in the development of China's domestic chip industry. These policies include financial support, tax incentives, and guidance for technological innovation providing favorable conditions for the development of domestic chip companies. However, to achieve long-term sustainable development, the government also needs to strengthen supervision, promote industry-university research cooperation, and enhance innovation capabilities. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.